Hello, it's art station time and I'm starting off with my favorite kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, you know me. I like to start on a good note, literally. <clears throat> so, looking through the latest, what can I see? Uh, I'm going to look for something that stands out and I'm going to look for anything that's not character work because it's just constant character stuff anatomy and characters and it's all about the Joker recently and the um, ray tracing real time stuff but I want something that just looks classy uh, so <clears throat> looking through the latest I want to try and fish out the best of non character um, I'm looking at stylization. <clears throat> uh, rendering, lighting. So what have we got? This is nice. Already this stands out. So this is going to be my first pick and follow. Look and follow Natalie Lush. Uh, a very stylized weapon and it looks like a good design that's the kind of thing I'm gonna be focusing on this episode all about stylishness renders, lighting and composition okay so Tally Lush you now have a follow and a like um, and I must say that is one of your better pieces uh, and I can see that you like very stylish cars and I like that so I like the stylish cars I can see they're all kind of similar models but fantastic looking renders okay so back to the latest and again looking for non-character based stylish work with good rendering, lighting and composition as a final render. Uh, I'm not saying I'm an expert at this kind of thing but this is what's going to set me moving forward as well when I present my stuff. So this is kind of like a self um, goal. This is interesting but I'm going to avoid faces and heads and stuff. Uh, this is a nice render. I'm curious to see what it is. Quarantine checkpoint. This is seen heavily inspired by the apocalyptic environment found in the game The Division by Ubisoft. Okay. It's a Ubisoft inspired scene. That's nice. I think the scale feels odd, but I don't know, maybe the angle needs to be wider. Camera. Things are a little bit square. Um I'm not critiquing it, just saying it's what I feel. Right, carry on, carry on. Loads and loads of character stuff. An abundance of character stuff. <clears throat> I'm just scanning until something pops. I like, you know, the realistic renders, but I'm going to avoid that as well. Mmm. Often takes a bit of time to get to something that stands out. This is quite nice. It's quite safe. Quite nice. Um, yeah, good prop. I say that's a good prop. I'm curious to see what else <coughs> there is. Uh, some decent stylized work. Uh, I'll follow this person. More stylish props. I think I will avoid the realism and cars for this time. Weapons and cool props. That's what I want to see. So many character things are saturated with character drawings and renders and things. 
That looks really good though. Yeah, certain things look good that I just don't want to miss. Um, cool prop. I like it. I like it. Mm, a little bit half finished work, I think. But maybe they're liking the the ZBrush matte clay, the red clay, too much, and should really be getting to finish stuff. But that's quite nice. It's a cool prop. Right, carry on. So if you're making a prop, why not make it functional, stylish, and a good render of it as well? And if I find something really good, I'll tell you why I like it. So we've got a robot. That still goes on the character stuff, but I'm curious to look at this. Alright. Now, this is kind of like a matte painting of all kinds. And 3D thrown in there. So, and here it just gets so busy that you can barely pick this out. And it feels like the lighting's not right. So that's my little kind of uh, feedback in that. I also feel that some of these shapes are too square and they don't work. Uh, these lines too, are too straight, it's almost like windows of a building. So the eye kind of bounces around a bit, everything's got fireworks and things here. Interesting, I'm going to check out some other stuff. Okay, okay, right, so I wasn't far off. You know, this guy's learning, we're all learning here, but I don't want to, don't want to jump in and tear anyone apart at this point, even the suggestion of it is not good, so, uh, and I think my scroll has reset, which is annoying, so now I need to find, that's familiar, I think I was round about down here somewhere, yeah, past that bit, um, uh, character stuff, but this looks really nice, and I'm curious again, I'm just going to like this and follow because that's fantastic work and I'll quickly get back to where I was. Let me close all this crap down. Right. So look. Like ninety percent, even ninety nine percent of what you see in Art Station is character based stuff. So in my case, it's like, what's the point unless you're coming in at a kind of decent level? Um, when I make character stuff, I tend to try cover not just the the modeling and texture, but I'll also do animation, and it won't just be concept because there's so much character concept and. A lot of character concepting is done through ZBrush these days because you can basically take that then 3D model into a low poly and bake everything. Um, I'm not dissing any 2D artists there because there's some really good um, mood pitch and narrative behind characters. Um, but you see a lot of this flat imagery here and people still getting used to uh, colouring and um, the brushes uh, and you know the layout and things um, but you'll get you'll get some nice stuff here but it's just it's a lot of character stuff so looking for cool props and I want to see some finished stuff in the latest I don't want to see the work in progress I think I'm just gonna like sift through this as quick as possible Loads of cool lanterns. Everybody loves a good lantern, I'm sure. Um, nice realistic wheel. I think that's part of that. It looks a bit... Yeah. Um, cool cars. Cars. Characters. There's plenty of those. Interesting concept. Now yeah, that's interesting. That's quite interesting. So it's a cat. It's still a character at the end of the day. Oh! Ain't that kind of cool? 
that's cool. Imagine that in like a 3D asset. <laughs> these are quite cool. I like these. They're playful. Wow. That's sick. Yeah, some cool stuff in here. Alright. It's, it's a little bit eerie and creepy, but... Yeah. I'm going to follow. Um, this I like. Something to look at that. Rare gem. Right, ah, uh, let's reset my bloody scroll again. Oh, I've got some latest stuff at least. Alright, scroll down to. Where was? So, looking for cool props, non character. And kind of finished, finished article. That's nice. I like that. It's good, um, good depth here because it gives it the kind of model scale as well as I don't know some kind of kind of scene, good detail and stuff. There we go. There's some scene type stuff. Oh, there are nice spitfires and. God knows what kind of models. Uh, yeah, these are really nice. I don't see these very often. Great amount of detail. I only got two likes. I only post four hours ago, so. Okay. Back to where were we? So, as you've gathered, this episode's all about cool props and less about progressive drawings you know a lot of people just draw stuff and they forget that they need it to be somewhat familiar so like making sure you're basing it off real proportions I think this looks way cool compared to this right not good pro proportions really good proportions you know this kind of thing is just it's crazy. It's crazy, you know, you see this stuff. <laughs> you see this stuff on a art station and it's like it's the kids' gallery. Totally. But imagine in ten years time, right, this person becomes like imagine this character. Take inspiration from it. Turn it into an amazing three D model. Why don't you? Um We need these kind of little things because they take us back to our young is but you know I think if you're posting something finished then it makes more sense to make it look more like this right that's crazy good really good uh, the values here are just like perfect the value range absolute perfect and then you're just nailing it with colour you know just colour it in done for you. These are so good. I've overlooked this artist's work. Okay, I'm going off track because there's so much character stuff and it's hard to find cool props. Although she did, she does have a lot of cool goings on. So, you could say that. Uh, if there's any scrappy 2D stuff or sketch work like this, be tempted to turn it into a cool 3D model because you're getting some raw raw kind of uh, concept art here straight out of Pandora's box without any um, muscle memory of the real world you're getting some fresh uh, ideas so it's never a bad thing cool props now I did see this last week and I thought it was cool, but I think the reflective stuff is a bit OTT. What do you think? Is it OTT? Is it a bit plastic looking? You know, the windows and everything reflecting. But I think it's a really cool um, shape, and some of these little kind of 
ducats and features in the 2042 and it's just like kind of tongue-in-cheek cliche futuristic um i guess that's you know the reflections kind of show that but it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool i like this render of it good topology and things i suppose there's a few bits could get you know reduced here that don't change the actual form you know collapse at least a few of these um but if they keep the the shading intact then why not um yeah okay so moving on to cool props and we've got a bit of a swim up here uh let's see there's got to be something in latest it's going to be my last asset to look at of this batch uh, i've got a feeling i've been here yeah, I recognise this. So I need to scroll on down. Okay, what's this? That's nice. It is concept 2D. But I'll just give this person a like and a follow. Alright, maybe one more for good luck. This looks cool. Hopefully it doesn't scroll on and miss it because I'm pressing too many things. Okay, I think it's the same person. Yeah. Same person as that? What? Okay. Okay, some really good stuff there, so definitely getting a like. Uh, I like this kind of fantasy Japanese style. It's almost like it's done in SketchUp or something. It's wicked. Wait a minute, is this 2D? Must be some kind of 3D process. Oh, they're using like these lines and things. Okay, that's clever. But yeah, this is going to be where I'm going to wrap this up. This is a co-prop. Um, environment prop based ship in the sky big propeller those are good stuff nice render nice lighting nice and easy to read not too many darks or lights and this is the kind of thing that i like so that's this episode of art station that's number three and it's all about cool props stylization lighting and rendering and i'm going to finish with the skies in z because he is now or she is now the star of this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Bye now.